Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to work on our MOSFET controlled motor and we're going to add the tachometer into the motor and put these two things together. A really simple project. So last week we did two videos. In the first video, we use this sensor up here. This is a photo interrupter sensor and it reads the differences in between the spaces and the solid parts in that disc as they pass through an infrared beam. And doing that, we can do a little bit of maths and we can calculate the RPM at which that wheel is turning. Then in the second video, we determined that this motor pulls far too many milliamps for our Arduino. In this case, we're using a Nano to source it. You know, according to the specs for the uh, AT328P microcontroller unit, we don't want to have any more than about 20 milliamps being sourced per pin. Well, this thing was pulling upwards of uh, 200 milliamps if there was any drag on the motor at all. So we're talking, you know, 10 times an order of magnitude greater than the Arduino can output. How do we control that? Well, that's really simple. We use a MOSFET and a separate power source. So the only thing that this Arduino is doing right here is through this pin controlling the gate on that MOSFET, which takes power from a separate power source to power the motor. Of course, we need to have all of our grounds tied together because if we're not talking from the same ground, if we're not talking from the same point of reference, nothing will work together. So today we're gonna to put it all together and we're going to remove the computer from the equation and that's really simple we're going to take our uh, 5 volts in from our external power source and it just gets plugged into the Arduino's VN pin no further hardware changes are necessary but we do need to make some software changes so let's jump on over to the computer and take a look at that. Here's our code that we're going to be using. Now it is uh, remarkably similar to the Arduino tachometer code that we did a week ago, but I'm going to highlight the differences here. So the first difference you're going to see is we're declaring a new variable called set RPM and we're setting its initial value at zero. Then we come down here to set up. We need to set pin five to output and A2 to input. Five is our PWM pin to control the MOSFET being switched on and off. And A2 is our input to read the voltage from that potentiometer. Now that voltage is going to go through the ADC and is going to be converted into a digital value of 0 to 1023, which we'll have to change, and we'll get to that. So then we come down here and we're going to create a variable, an integer variable called J, I mean it doesn't matter what you call it, and we're going to read the value of the potentiometer. And like I said, that's going to return a value through the ADC of 0 to 1023. Now, because the values of the um, PWM are only 0 to 255, we have to convert that. And Arduino makes it really easy using the map command. So we're going to take our variable set RPM and we're going to map it to J. J, of course, is this variable up here where we read the 0 to 1023 value. So we're going to say J, which has value of 0 to 1023, we want to map again to set RPM with a value of 0 to 255. So that will do the linear conversion for us and makes everything incredibly simple. Then all we have to do is an analog write to pin 5, which is going to the gate of the MOSFET and the value, which will be set RPM, which will be that value between 0 and 255. 
then we will um, read the value from our photo interrupter sensor and print out the RPMs. It's pretty easy, right? I think so. All right, our code has been uploaded. So I've got an external 2 amp 5 volt power source here. Let's plug her in. There we go. And you can see we're getting 123 RPMs there. And we can adjust our speed here. And now we're up to 195 RPM, which is our maximum. And then we can slow our way down. Not quite sure how far we can go. Let's find out. All right, that's pretty slow. Oh, too much, too much, Paul. So it looks like about 60 RPM is our slowest speed we're going to be able to grab off of that. I mean, if we go any slower, what happens is the output is not enough to overcome the drag of the motor itself. But there we go. We've got everything rolling very nicely. We've got our tachometer showing us the RPMs. We're adjusting the RPMs using this potentiometer. And we're controlling everything with this MOSFET. And it's all working together beautifully. Now we are going to have one more part to this series. And that is going to be the uh, PID part. Where we're going to be able to look at our set RPMs. You know, say we set our RPMs at 60 here. But because of some drag or something on the motor, it slows down. We want to be able for the Arduino, which is definitely smart enough and has enough computing power, to be able to notice that it slowed down and adjust the PWM frequency to keep it at our set RPM. So that's coming up next. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please give me a thumbs up. Comment, share, don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all of my patrons. It means a lot to me, guys. You're keeping the channel alive. That's it. I'm out. Peace.